It's another day at the studio here and I have to record more content for my online course, Snap Fluent Secrets. And I wanted to kind of show you guys around my studio when I am doing vlog videos. So this content, this type of content is a little different. Uh, I'm not putting so much editing into it. I'm just gonna show you what's going on, show you kind of behind the scenes of what's going on. And it's very informal. I want this to feel more like we're having a conversation. So basically I've got everything set up. I'm just gonna kind of walk around and show you what I got. But like I said, super chill. It's a Monday, we're having fun. We're getting it in. And I hope this helps you figure out how you wanna set your studio up. So let's get going. First thing that I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to turn my camera on. And I also have a playback monitor hooked up to my camera so I can actually see what is going on back there when I am filming. So instead of just hoping or setting up my phone and making sure that that is capturing it, I actually have a playback monitor set up here. So that way I can see on a bigger screen. Now, above it, I have this TV. This is actually what I mirror all of my files to. So anything that my text, my wording, my scripts, all of that go to this TV. And then the playback is on this TV, which is got a bunk cord to it. So it takes a minute for it to figure out what's going on. So then we have our playback set up then. We're all set to go. Then from there, I have a three light set up, hooked up with this. I have a main light, I have a rim light, and then I have kind of a false practical because I do have one practical light in the background and that is this little lamp right here, this little light of mine. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all this turned on and kind of show you now. I have had like 5,000 iterations of sets uh, where I've done different YouTube videos and content. And I'm always thinking about what's the best one and how to make it look and how to get it to look the best overall. And I figured that just set up where you do your meetings, which is my front lobby. The front door is literally right behind the camera right now. It, yes, it looks like just a hot mess when I am not filming and I have to kind of slide stuff around and move it. But I started, not only did I start in my basement, but my first studio was like 300 square feet and I had everything in there. So I learned how to maximize my space by moving stuff around. Now, the funny thing is, is I literally on the other side of this green wall have a, a big space, but this just works for me. I like it up here. It's, it's cozy. So yeah, what we need to do then is we need to get all the lights on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my um, background light on my fake ambient light, my false ambient. And that is going to go right there. So we have that one set up now and then I'll go ahead and hit my rim light, which is here. And I have it actually gridded and I have a little bounce, a little white bounce that I made out of a piece of paper. That way it doesn't spill too much over there. And this is the lighting setup. And then all we need to do is go in here, take our remote for our Westcott light, which is our main light. It's the U60B and we have a light. So now our three light setup is done. Uh, it, it's pretty much my favorite setting that I, or setup that I've ever had. I just absolutely love it. I love the way that everything looks in the videos. Uh, I match the white balance to this light because I have it a little warmer. That way everything matches together. And I just really just absolutely love the way that it looks. Now I need to get my computer out, get all the recording stuff hooked up next. Along with computers, uh, it always comes down to that debate, Mac or Windows. Uh, it's kind of like Ford versus Chevy or Android versus iPhone, honestly. It's user preference in today's age. Now, with that being said, I prefer Apple products and I have all Apple products. And the reason that I prefer that is because of like seamless transition from app to uh, from iOS to OS and back and forth and being able to airdrop. Airdrop is like my favorite thing in the entire world because then I can create stuff. And once it's created, I can go ahead and just send it right over to my phone and then share it directly from there. So it just works incredible. But it's up to you really, honestly, whatever you want. 
it doesn't matter. There are some programs that I feel work better with a, a Windows computer. TikTok Studio, if you're doing TikTok Lives and you have over 10,000, TikTok Studio allows you to use high quality cameras and stuff, but it only works for Windows, which I don't understand. I don't understand why TikTok wouldn't have made a, or hasn't made a Mac version. But as of right now, Windows only. So I'll get my MacBook fired up here. I do have one monitor as well, 32 inch monitor. That way I can have my screen capture going from my laptop if I'm screen capping anything for my videos. But then I can see all the playback and all the other stuff over on this and look at my recording and audio levels and all of that fun stuff. So that right there is all that I need. I can take my laptop bag, backpack, throw that over here. So now that I got all that set up, now I can come over here and turn on my Rodecaster Pro. Grab the USB for that one. Grab my HDMI cable. Now I have a bunch of content to film today, but then I have a photo session tonight. So I have to record the content today, tear all of this down, move it around, get it out of the way, set this lobby up to look like a lobby again, as well as clean the other side of the studio and get it uh, client ready. So it's gonna be a task, it's gonna be a chore, but it needs to be done, so might as well do it. Idle hands are the devil's playground, right? So go ahead and get this fired up here. Little chat GPT open here. And now we are all set to go. So I have everything that I need. Two monitors over here. Move the recording stuff to this side. And we are good to go. Microphone audio level is going. So that is all set too. And we're all set. So the way that I am recording this video is important to me because for many, many years, I've tried to like Casey nice at it or vlog, vlog it. Well, the new way of vlogging that people enjoy watching people like you is just having conversations and kind of delivering a takeaway. So that's what these type of vlogs are going to be, is more of a takeaway. I guess you could call it a day in the life of, or a moment in the life of, or something like that. But it just, it's come to my, the front of my mind lately that I am spending way too much time thinking about the final product instead of thinking about the takeaway. So with this, I just wanted to show you a little bit on the inside of my studio, uh, my, my recording setup. Now I have my other office on the other side too, which has a whole nother studio set up. And like I've said, I've had so many different versions of my backdrops. I need to find a, a universal one. And I think this is it. I really like the way this set, look, set looks. Um, but I have, I've spent so many years trying to make everything look look professional and thinking not enough about the takeaway. So the new videos, they're not going to be as B-roll centric and music and transitions. It's just going to be conversations and, and showing you my life, my side of things as a photographer, as a content creator. I, I think it it's going to be different. It might take a little getting used to. Now the editing videos and the other like tutorials and tips and tricks, those will have your 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 what's up guys, this is Josh type situations. But with these ones, I'm not I'm not doing that. I just want to talk to you guys. I want to inform you of stuff. I want to just kind of show you my life as a photographer because I know that if you're watching this, you're either 
one, a family or a friend, or two, you're a photographer trying to learn how to grow your business. So if I can just deliver valuable information with all the fluff around it, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to show you my life as a photographer and just give you some pointers if you want to do it yourself. Because there's enough room for all of us in the photography industry. I just don't think that everybody knows how to maneuver through all of that oversaturation of the photography market. So I want to show you how I do it, so show you how I've done it, and kind of just give you the rundown on my life as a photographer and what I go through. The vlogs are going to be different. They're going to be this new vlog style that a lot of people are moving to. But it's about the content. It's about delivering information that you can take away and you can apply to your day-to-day -day life, your photography business, whatever it may be. It's about delivering high quality content and not worrying so much about high quality video effects and retouching. So I have some content now that I need to record. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I don't even know how to end these. We'll figure it out. You want to come along on the journey with me? I would really appreciate it. Talk to you later.